You know, it's things like that that you can use to keep yourself motivated. One, you have to make a commitment, right? It's tough to get motivated to something that you're not committed to. You know, if you're trying to do it by yourself, you know, that's it's if, and you're not really motivated to do it, then it's going to be difficult, very, very difficult to get there. All right, what's up, guys? Coach Stewart back again uh, for our Wisdom Wednesday. And today we're going to talk about motivation and commitment. Okay, so, you know, motivation a lot of times is thought of as getting fired up to go do something, right? And, uh, you know, for the, a perfect example is, you know, people want to start working out or they want to start um, going to the gym. And sometimes they'll put some music on. Sometimes they will, you know, watch an inspirational video or something like that to kind of get the, the fire going. And then they go and, and work out. Those type of things, they only work, you know, a, a few times. It starts to die off. Um, you know, the, the, what it does for you starts to die off. And so, you know, how do we, how do we get motivated and how do we stay motivated? It's hardest to start something in the very beginning, right? Um, to start studying for a test. It's, it's hardest in the beginning, but once you get going and you start building some momentum, you know, you get through the first couple of, of questions, it seems a little bit easier to, to continue. Um, once you get into the gym and, and you start your warm up, you get on the treadmill, you start getting, getting into the weights, you know, you're, you're there, the, endorphins start kicking in and, and it's easier to continue than it was, you know, if you were not motivated before you walked in, um, it's certainly easier to continue with your workout once you're there and you're going, you know? Um, so how do we ensure that we keep the motivation going? Um, you know, once we leave the gym, what's going to motivate us to go back, right? And what's going to motivate us to continue to study and, and get good grades? You know, if, it takes an incredible amount of, amount of motivation to even get you to open a book. What's going to keep us going in order to ultimately get to our, our goal? Um, because our goal is not going to be accomplished in the first five minutes. Um, you know, our goal is going to be accomplished down the line. And, and, and usually it takes several, if not many, 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 many sessions of something to, uh, to realize our goal. One, I think the biggest thing is, is we have to make a commitment. We have to commit to whatever we set out. And you write it down. Um, you get a performance coach. You know, um, you have friends, you have accountability partners. They're going to keep you committed. So, for example, if you say, you know, you know, I weigh X amount um, and I have, you know, whatever percentage body fat in three months, you know, I'd like to be here. And, you know, if you're trying to do it by yourself, you know, that's it's if, and, and you're not really motivated to do it, then it's going to be difficult, very, very difficult to get there. Right. But if you write your goals down you know, you put them in places that you go every single day and you remind yourself, this is what you're working for. And you have accountability partners, um, you know, friends that are keeping you in check, whether it's, Hey, you know, I'm gonna be at the gym in five minutes. I expect to see you there. Well, then it's you know a little bit more difficult to cancel on your buddy. than you know, if you, if you have to go by yourself and you just had a, a bad day and you're tired and you don't feel like going, well, then you can talk yourself out of it. You know, it's things like that, that you can use to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself on track. Also, don't discount the little wins and things. When I say the little wins, let's say you're struggling in math and, and um, you know, you're not doing very well. And let's say you, you're getting, you know, D's or whatever. And, um, and and you commit and you study and you put in some extra time. And then the, the next test, you get a C. Well, that, that's a little win. It's an improvement. And it starts the momentum, which is a key word here, momentum towards your goal of improving your grades and possibly bring it up to an A. And for athletes out there, if you, if you have good grades, gosh, it opens so many more doors for you as far as, you know, going to play at, at schools that you really want to go play at versus having to maybe settle at, at, you know, JUCO or, you know, D2 or D3. And there's nothing wrong with those. But if you have D1 talent and the coach says, I want you, but your grades aren't good, well, then, you know, you need to do something to get your grades, to get you into that school that, that wants you and you want to go to. So, you know, you know, that's just one example. Um you know, the great thing, because it's so, it's such an important thing um, for athletes, especially, but, but really for everybody. One, you have to make a commitment, right? It, it's tough to get motivated to something that you're not committed to. If, if you're not committed to something, does it really mean anything? If it's just, hey, I feel like going to do this today, but I really don't care if I do it or not, then what, how are you going to motivate, motivate yourself to go do it? Make a commitment to something, whatever it is, make a commitment to something that you want to happen, that you want to do and have a, have a, a coach, you know, have a performance coach or have one of your, your athletic coaches, um, have a teacher, 
have your parents, have your friends, be accountability partners. Think people that are not going to let you slip and, and, and not going to let you say, I don't feel like doing it today. No, you don't want to let somebody down. Also, leave yourself notes, right? Remind, constantly remind yourself of what you're doing this stuff for, all right? Also, write down your little wins. If you are making Ds and you study your tail off and you make a C, write that down and leave it somewhere. That way you know that your hard work is not, you know, is not being discounted. It's not for nothing. And then the next time you do something, write that down. And pretty soon you're going to have a bunch of sticky notes with a bunch of small wins that are going to really show you what you can do. And it's going to continue to motivate you to want to keep working harder and, and, and set your goals bigger. So, all right, there you go. Motivation, commitment, they go hand in hand. I hope you all have a great Wednesday and I um, hope you're doing your workouts and I'll see you later. Have a great day.